guys, um, today I've got a haul for you. Um, I've just been high street shopping, so I've got some bits from H&M, Primark, um, and a few other little stores. Um, I am not at home um, or in my usual location for filming today, so please excuse the fact that it may be slightly echoey. Um, and I don't have any of my lights or my tripod or anything, so I'm just having to make do with whatever sun we have um, today. So let's get straight to it. So the first item I got were these shoes. They were from Primark and I got them for a wedding which I'm going to. Um, I wanted something that would give me a bit of height because I'm quite short um, but wouldn't be um, too high or too hard to walk in. So I found these. They did originally have these like little tassel things on the front which I, weren't, um, I wasn't too keen on so I literally just cut them off as soon as I got back. Um, I'll just insert a clip now of what they look like when they're on. She is a girl driven man by the relentless forces of the beyond. He will not relent as he comes for her again and again. So in these shoes, they're not very bendy or flexible, um, but they are really easy to walk in. As I said, they're not too high and they're very um, comfortable. The only thing I don't really like too much is the jaggedy edge, which um, is on sort of the tongue of the shoe. But it doesn't dig in or anything, it's just something that I kind of wish it was smooth, but what can you do? <laughs> so the bottom of the shoes are obviously a platform, it is a solid shoe, but although it's not, um, some solid shoes are really heavy, but this is actually quite lightweight, so they're not going to affect your ankles or anything, which is generally the problem I have um, when I wear platform shoes. Um, it's also got this like massively like over exaggerated grip at the bottom, which I really liked. And I thought that these would just go really nice with um, a few of the dresses I have, and especially, as I said, for the wedding, which I'm going to. So the next thing I got from Primark is this maroon cardigan. I know it kind of just looks like a massive sheet <laughs> at the moment, um, but I will insert a clip now of what it looks like. Again, I do prefer ones that go down lower. Um, I am going to be working in a school come September, so I did kind of go shopping with that in mind. And especially when you're bending over <laughs> to like talk to children, you want to make sure that everything is covered, which I think is um, the cardigan is a perfect solution for that. So you've got um, pockets on the side, which I find really helpful for just sticking your phone in. And this cardigan costs ten pounds, so I guess it is kind of more on the expensive side for things that you'd buy from Primark but it is a really nice fabric and it is slightly sheer which is another thing I do really like about it. So the next thing I got I'm actually wearing now it is another cardigan as you can see it is just plain and black and again it has um, it is this sheer material. Um, I will just insert a full body clip of what it looks like now. <laughs> So this cardigan cost me £10 as well, um, again it has the pockets and it's very comfortable, I've been wearing it all day and it's quite lightweight so although as you can probably tell the sun's coming in and out constantly, um, I haven't got too hot, I haven't overheated and then when the sun's gone in it's kept me warm so it is like the perfect cardigan for this time of year. So the next thing um, from Primark, I did get a, I think we got about a week ago, I've been wearing it like more or less non-stop. Um, but I thought I'd just throw it in um, because it is recently bought from Primark and it is this Packamac, um, which is a, I think it's called um, Pack It In A Pocket, that's what it's called. Um, and it just basically, you have the pocket and when you don't want to use it, it like bowls all up into a ball and goes into the pocket of the coat, which means it's super easy for storage. Um, the only thing is it's not very warm, so if you're looking for a coat to keep you warm, this isn't what you need, um, but this is great for just keeping the rain off um, or even at this time of the year in England, we get a lot of little showers. Um, so this is perfect for just kind of like throwing on if the forecast is kind of predicting um, little showers all through the day. As you 
you can see from the clip which I just showed you um, it does cinch in slightly at the waist and also around the hood I do really love the fact that it cinches in at the waist because um, it does just give it a slight bit more shape rather than it just being like a big sheet <laughs> that you're wearing another thing is the arms I don't know if you notice but they do have little poppers um, which can be undone and then unrolled so you can wear it long sleeved or short sleeved personally I've been wearing it short sleeved and this pack a mac or pack it in a pocket <laughs> cost me £9 from Primark. So I did also get some tights and some socks from Primark. Um, they were very basic black ones and I have reviewed them in my last Primark haul. Um, so if you are interested in that kind of thing, please just go to that. I'll leave a link in the description to that one. So the next item I got was a sale item. It cost me £5, it was half price and it is just a swimming costume. It's very simple, it's just, um, it's slightly padded at the top because um, I like to have a little bit of support and then it's had this kind of like ruching in the middle and then obviously it's just a swimming costume. Um, I needed to get a swimming costume for the school I'm working in. I have got various other swimming costumes and bikinis um, but they're all very heavily printed and I haven't really got anything that's plain like this one. So when I found this in the sale I was pleasantly surprised. Um, the reason it was in the sale is because, I don't know if you're aware, but over the next couple of weeks um, all the autumn stuff is coming into stores. So there are massive sale, uh, sales, sales all through the um, high street at the moment, just getting rid of that summer stock. So if you are, like me, <laughs> buying stuff late, it is perfect to get anything like sort of summery, like sewing costumes, vests and shorts. All of that is half price in Primark at the moment, so I definitely give it a give it a give it a go you may find something that you can possibly just wear with tights or with a jumper or even just save for next year so i was so happy when i found these because um unlike america when all the halloween stuff is coming out now and i just have to sadly watch everyone else go halloween shopping um uh, halloween items don't really come into british stores until the beginning of october so i've still got quite a long time to wait however primark did have one item which I very quickly snapped up. So it is just this ghost print underwear um, and it says boo on the front. Um, it is supposedly glow in the dark. If anyone has watched my Primark hauls before, they know exactly how I feel about glow in the dark underwear because I never get any success with them. Um, but you never know, this may be, this may be my lucky day. I may get a uh, glow in the dark boo on the front of my underwear. I just thought this was really cute. I thought it was a really cute pattern. Possibly these were out um, because they were left over from last year or they were just kind of found in the back of the stock cupboard um, but I'm very interested to find out if um, they're in anyone else's stores because um, it would be nice to see some Halloween stuff starting trickling in um, because I do know Primark do do Halloween stuff I just never really get a chance to get it because they don't they do such a limited amount that it just goes straight away and these were one pound so they were a great bargain the last item I got is slightly different <laughs> from the other ones. I got um, some cycling shorts, I actually got five pairs of these. Now the reason I got this is because in winter and also in summer I wear a lot of tights, I wear a lot of dresses and skirts and I am very um, self-conscious of showing everything off um, when I bend over or if it, there's a gust of wind or something. So I like to wear something underneath of my clothes. So I have just been wearing leggings that are cut and they, they roll up and things. Um, so I decided to invest in some cycling shorts. Now these are perfect because they are long enough not to be shown when you're actually wearing the dress so you can't see them when you're walking around but if for any reason your skirt does blow up or you lean over and you know show off your behind you have these just to kind of keep your keep your modesty. Um, they were only £2 and they were they're also 100% cotton which means they're very breathable um, and also, as I said, as I will be working in a school, I think it's very important that I don't go showing off my underwear to all the children. Um, so this was my solution. So that is everything which I got from Primark. Um, just like a silly little thing that I will show you in between my next kind of block of clothes are these gruesome body parts which my dad bought me from Wilco Wilkinson's. Um, and again, I believe it's the beginning of Halloween coming in, which is fantastic. Um, but they are just these gruesome, like this is a tongue. <laughs> yeah, they are absolutely foul and it feel, they feel realistic. You also get 
a nose and an ear and an eye. Um, these cost 20p, so if anyone fancies getting um, some weird little body parts to play with, then <laughs> there you go. So next I'm going to show you a pair of shoes which I got from Shoe Zone. <laughs> they cost £10 um, and they just look like this. Now they reminded me slightly of the kind of shoes I had when I was like really young, <laughs> I was like seven. Um, but again, I, as I said, I am working in a school. I need something comfortable to wear daily. Although my bands are very comfortable and flexible and perfect for everyday stuff, um, it is important to change your shoes up once in a while um, just to make sure that your feet <laughs> stay healthy, basically. Um, and these have a lot of support, um, which is something which I think is very important. They've got this kind of like brown coloured bottom, which doesn't really, I don't really mind about it too much, but some people may not like that. Um, and then they've got a silver buckle. Now, I love silver buckles. I have this weird thing where I don't like wearing gold buckles or, um, or bronze buckles. Um, so I was really happy about the fact that these are silver. They are slightly flexible, which is good, and they seem really sturdy. Um, these cost me £10, and I got them in a size 5, so I'll just show you a really quick clip of these. These would just work really nicely with dresses and stuff. Um, they're really easy to kind of slip on as well. There's no sort of like fiddly bits. Um, and although I can't really give too much a review because I only got them today, they seem a good quality and they seem like I could last a whole day wearing these without having any problems. So the next shop I went to was H&M. Um, I got um, quite a few dresses for school. So these aren't really the kind of style which I'd normally wear sort of like daily to day when I'm not working um, but they still have some kind of elements which I think you guys may like so I generally go for skater dress kind of stars um, so I got this one it is a it is like a sort of a dark bluey well it's black but I kind of can see a little bit of blue in it um, um, background with some white flowers on it it's very stretchy and then on the back as you can see it has a silver zip which just goes on the back it's got a slightly low um cut back which i think is really nice and flattering um, and this dress cost me 14.99 um, but again, I just thought it was great um, to wear in school because although um, I do tend to kind of stick to the colour black, um, when you're working with children, of course, they like colourful things and stimulating prints and stuff. So I figured it is very important to kind of mix up your wardrobe from time to time and just add a tiny bit of colour, um, which isn't going to take me too much out of my comfort zone, but it's still going to add like a little bit of something to the outfit. So the last dress which I bought from H&M is this black one. To me, it had a very witchy vibe to it. Um, it does kind of look a little bit translucent when I'm holding it up, but I promise you when you're wearing it, it isn't see-through. Um, it's got these, well, it does have these tiny um, little border of circles, which is see-through. And then the back, which I do really like, however, I'm gonna have to wear it with some kind of vest or something underneath. Um, it does have a corseted back. Um, well, it's not, it's not so much a corseted back, but it is kind of like a tying, a tie back, which kind of reminded me of a corset, which I thought was really nice. Um, this dress cost me 14.99, um, and it is quite long. Now I'll just insert a little clip now. As you can see from the bottom of this dress, um, it is kind of, um, sort of, I want to say asymmetrical, it's longer on the sides, shorter at the front and the back, which I think gave it a very kind of witchy vibe, I just really liked it. And I can wear this um, to work, um, I can just team it with a cardigan or something, but then at the same time I can wear it sort of on my days off, because this is the kind of dress that I'd like to wear anyway, um, just sort of like going out. So um, I do tend to wear sort of various styles from day to day, I kind of change up um, 
my looks and things and I have as I mentioned got a few weddings coming up so I thought I'd get a few formal dresses um so I got a 50 styles 50, 50s style dress um it's a halter neck but I do tend to sew the straps down so they look kind of just like straight straps um it's just black with red polka dots um it's from a make which I've never heard of before today but I have absolutely fallen in love with called Hearts and Roses. I'll just quickly show you the label in case you guys are interested. So this dress, um, cinches it at the waist, it also has this belt, which I do tend to take these belts off because they are, they made a ribbon, which is absolutely fine, although they're all slidey and they end up falling off and the bows un end up undoing and stuff. So I usually use these for my hair or something and I just add my own belt. So the underneath sort of layer of this dress is kind of like a petticoat which just gives it a little bit more volume, means it kind of shoots out a little bit out of the bottom and gives it a bit more shape. This dress was discounted down from £40 to £20 so I was very happy with that. Um, it's kind of a shorter sort of 50 styles dress which is kind of what um, kind of style I'm into at the moment. I just thought this is a really nice so a more formal dress um, to wear kind of on a night out, although it can be dressed down quite easily if I did just want to wear it like out shopping or something. <laughs> so I really love this dress and I'm really happy I found it. Um that was in the shopping centre. Um, it didn't, it did have a name obviously, it wasn't just a blank shop, but it was no, it was not a name that I'd ever seen before. I know that it wasn't a chain shop, it was just something someone had set up themselves. Um, but definitely check out Hearts and Roses. Um, they're on eBay, I did look on eBay when I got home, um, and they do have, um, there are other stores that stock them, and it is quite honestly a, one of the best, like high quality dresses I have bought. Um, which is 50 star and for the price as well I'm so happy with it and the back is also stretchy which means you know if you gain a little bit of weight or lose a little bit of weight you're not going to need to buy a whole new dress you will fit this um. so the last clothing item I am going to show you again is another sort of 50 style dress um, it's more of like a wiggle dress and it is this absolutely fabulous um, cherry print again <laughs> it's very similar to the other one black with red dots um it's just a really nice uh, cherry print and on the top it has this gorgeous black lace which i absolutely love and then it kind of cinches in it doesn't really look like it has much shape on what i'm holding up so i'll just insert a clip um now of what it looks like when it's on so as you can see it has like a slight little um i don't know what this is called like a little curtain flap <laughs> flap thing at the back um i can't think of what the word is <laughs> but it has that at the back it has again this nice little sort of loop at the back which just gives it um it just breaks the actual lace up a little bit although the lace is gorgeous how it is and i love this like slight sweetheart neckline which is created with the fabric again this is from hearts and roses the same make as the other dress um so as I said, I do not know the actual store um, which I bought these from because it was nothing recognisable. But definitely check out this make. It is again a really high quality dress. It has a hidden zip down the side, so don't worry about having to fitting it over any hips or bums or boobs, whatever. Um, it has a zip, so it's really easy to get on. Um, and then it's really form fitting as well. And it is really thick, thick. Well. It's not thick, uncomfortable fabric, but it's thick enough so that it doesn't show anything through. So there is no need to worry about that. Ah, oh, the sun is so bright. But the last item I got, um, some of you may be interested in this for the fact that it is a massive set of makeup brushes. Now, anyone who knows me, I just threw them everywhere. Anyone who knows me knows that I don't really <laughs> do much So let's pretend that was meant to happen. Um, anyone who knows me will know that I'm not really a massive sort of makeup person, 
Um, I do a little bit of eyeshadow now and again, um, but I don't really do anything um, as such. But I got 32 makeup brushes. The rest are in here. Um, and they all came in this little pouch. And the reason I got them is because I um, do a lot of arts and craft projects. Don't, don't mind me, I'm just putting them back in. Um, and I needed paint brushes. And I don't know if any of you are aware, but paint brushes are extremely expensive when you're just kind of buying them to use to um, paint a, with acrylics or something like that. It does seem like a bit of a waste when you kind of use your brush once or twice and it's ruined. Um, and paint brushes, when you actually buy proper good paint brushes, are so expensive. So I bought this for six pound on eBay. I know some of it I cannot really use. Like I don't really think I'll use this fan brush, fan brush, um, to paint with, or <laughs> like the eyebrow and the eyelash combs and the eyeshadow brushes. But the other ones are all very sort of fine and detailed brushes. I know that some of you are probably watching this and trying shouting at the com at the computer or your phone telling me what these brushes are actually for but um i thought that these were great for painting there are different angled brushes there are different textures there are different thicknesses and also there are a few spongy ones which seems like quite a good thing to experiment with so if any of you like me want to get a load of makeup brushes um not like paint brushes then get makeup brushes because they do exactly the same job and because I got them so cheap I'm not going to be so um, worried about whether I <laughs> mess them up or have to throw them away because there are going to be plenty to go around they also come in this like little leather thing which can roll up which is kind of helpful although I like to have all my brushes kind of in a pot so I can see them so I will <laughs> leave the links to the um makeup brushes slash paint brushes below um and if any of you are interested then you can check that out i'll also leave any links to anything else um which is relevant down below and i will leave um a link to my past um primer haul because it wasn't really that long ago so may some of you may have missed it and may find it relevant if you found this video relevant so thank you so much for watching Again, I'm really sorry for my filming setup and my lack of lights and the echoey sounds everywhere. Um, but by next week, everything should, fingers crossed, um, be back to normal, although I will be back at work. So I can't really promise, <laughs> I can't promise a, um, a filming time or a, a schedule as such. So if you do have any questions or comments please leave them below and I will do my best to answer all of them. So I hope you had a good week and to any people going back to school this week or next week I hope you have fun and enjoy yourself and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.